Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded series, The Dead God Plus. Let's jump in for another episode. We are really doing well on our streak so far. We've been keeping it going. I've been playing a little bit conservative, but overall I've been doing pretty good. But it has soon come to an end, because we have Tainted Andromeda. Oh lord, oh lord. Do we even have Tainted Andromeda unlocked? I, th I don't know if this is a character you have to unlock, so I'm not sure. But anyways, let's jump on in and see, because it might just place us as normal Andromeda. No, it lets us play as Eternal. Okay, uh, Eternal, what am I on about? Um, tainted. But one moment, I just got to fix something really quick. Okay, we are back. I've just quickly disabled the floppy disks in the new mod we've been using just for now, because they are going to be updated relatively shortly to include a config option to change the chances of them spawning. And while they're currently a little bit too common for my taste, I've just turned them off for now. So we'll see how long that ends up being. It might only be a few episodes, which we shall see. But yes, we do play as Tainted Andromeda here, and that scares me. <laughs> this is a character of which I have uh, had some hard times with in the past. He's a, he's a pretty tough cookie. I forgot that we shouldn't enter item rooms. Do you know what? It is what it is. Let's see if we can get some consumables. I completely forgot how to play this character for a hot minute there. Um, oh god, this is a, a very hard little bit of combat here. In fact, oh, 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 no, it's fine, it's fine. I forgot we're not meant to enter item rooms. That is my own stupid fault. It is what it is. Okay, we're going to try and get as many consumables as we can here. I think the last time I played as this guy was the time where I got that ridiculous golden pill that gave us, like, a bajillion uses. I think it was 151 uses, if I remember correctly. Okay, this guy, not easy to hit. But, for the question of the day to start off, what is something you've always wanted to do but never been able to? For me, I think it's probably skydiving. Like, I'm I'm someone that's got, I've got a mild fear of heights, but I feel like skydiving is a bit different, especially like a tandem skydive when you've got someone with you. It seems like I, it would be pretty scary, and like, like I said, being, being somewhat scared of heights, it's like, yeah, it seems like it could be a little bit of a mistake trying it, but it's also like I want to kind of face my fear, and I feel like it's not the same sort of fear of heights if you're on a tandem jump. It's not really the same thing. So that was a bit of a bad hit there. So I kind of do want to try it, and I've never really had the opportunity, mainly because I don't live somewhere where it's that easy to do, but also just because it normally costs a good amount of money. But, like, I know my friend tried it in Dubai, which sounds pretty awesome. I'd love to do that. Um, let's get some uh, Tint Andromeda babies. Right, I think I'm just going to pop Singularity here and see what we get. Sponge blocks projectiles. Okay, that's fine. It's not amazing, but it's decent, and we'll uh, quickly see if we can get any more once we without these poops, because we want to get the coins so that we can um, so that we can get a little more charges. But yeah, I think skydiving's one that would really be quite interesting. I've actually been kind of lucky. I've spoken about it a little bit uh, in the past. I've, I've actually been quite lucky in my upbringing with my my parents have, have never been rich. They've ne they've never even re they've never been rich or poor, but they're definitely we're on uh. Why do I even come in here? I'm I'm completely forgetting how to play this character. Items don't spawn as this guy, you goober. Um, but yeah, um, I, I've been quite lucky in the fact that... How the hell do we do this room? That my parents were never super well off, but never super poor. Like, I, they were definitely, like, on the lower end of earnings. We were definitely, like, under... Like, definitely, like, working class. Um, my dad's a painter and decorator, and my mum works for a, a, a preschool teaching, like, children. So, yeah, it's never been like a... We've had a lot, but one nice thing... Ooh, hang spiders. Ooh, I do not like those. What is going... Why are they doing that? <laughs> oh, God. What the hell? <laughs> That's so peculiar how they move. <laughs> That's wigging me out, that is. Um... But yeah, so, uh, but, but luckily, my, my parents were decent at saving, especially as I got a little bit older, and it meant that we got to go on quite a few holidays, so I've been to quite a lot of different countries, really, um, a lot more than, than I thought I would have. I've been to, like, Greece, which I've actually just booked a holiday to go there again, um, with my girlfriend, first time going on holiday with my girlfriend, actually, I've never actually been away with her in the eight years I've been, we've been together, so it's gonna be nice to do that, but yeah, I've been to, like, Greece, I've been to the Dominican Republic, I've been to Sri Lanka, I've been to, um... I've been to thingy, yeah, Egypt like three times. Uh, I've been to Spain a few times. Unfortunately, I've not been to America yet. I'd like to go to America though. Why can't I move the troll bombs that this guy fires? But yes, I, I've been quite lucky to go on quite a few holidays uh, when I was younger. Um, and so like I've, I've been to some places where you can do things like skydive. And it's like, 
even when I went to Egypt, I got to do some interesting stuff. I never I never went to see the pyramids just because we went with my uh, my sister who's five years younger than me. So, ooh, this could be interesting. Um, who, of course, uh, was a, a bit too young for the long travel to see the pyramids. So we never ended up doing that. But... We did get to do some cool stuff, like we got to go like do some scuba diving. We got to go uh, to the Dead Sea. Um, we got to do like a glass bottom boat trips, which were really fun because the the like uh, sea life there is just incredible. So it, it was really cool. I got to do quite a few cool things. I'm a little bit scared I'm get hit by one of these guys, but it is what it is. Of course, Tainted Andromeda does have slightly annoying, uh, slightly annoying ways of firing, so it's going to be a little more difficult. I'm going to try to destroy poops when I can, though. Right. Just to try and get pennies and get charges. But I'm thinking spin down is going to be pretty good for us, you know. Oh, God. we got an, a new a new enemy as well here that I don't recognize. That scares me deeply. Oh, he's doing something. He's gone invincible. Are you, are you okay, sir? Are you... Um... Oh, I think I, I think it's just that I can't hit him until. Oh, dude, 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 dude! This, this thing's too fast. This thing's too fast. I. What the hell? That thing's so speedy. I thought I, I don't know why it had that like invincibility frame thing. That's from the new mod as well. Not sure what to think about those guys. They seem kind of interesting. I feel like we're gonna die pretty early on here. I'll be honest. Um, I'm already on very very low HP considering, and there's an eternal fly here which. These things have insane knockback. Whoa, what happened there? I do not know, but I'm glad that it did. Sadly, rainbow poops don't give us soul hearts. I might install the mod that makes them give soul hearts. That'd be kind of useful. There's a mod that makes them give soul hearts with Blue Baby. And I don't actually know if it works with this guy, but I kind of think it will. I'm not 100% sure, actually. I might go into my shop and see if I can buy a soul heart as well uh, here. So I don't need money for items. Oh, rooms like this are a pain. Okay, we're good. Ooh, got an extra bomb as well. Right. So let's go check. Yeah, I really don't know why I went into my library. I expected items to be in there, but it's kind of obvious that they wouldn't be, right? Right, let's check in here. Hope for a soul heart. There you go. That's very useful. We very much needed that. And we also got an item. Do you know what? Let's, uh, let's pop that in here. Pop the wrong bloody item. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. If I hadn't a popped the wrong item, I could have had Sackhead. I'm really, really, really annoyed at myself right now. I'm really, really annoyed at myself right now. Like, so much. So, so much. Damn it. Nightlight's not terrible, but Sackhead would have been pretty good. Damn it, it's just, I get so used to pressing spacebar and, oh, stupid. Just stupid is what I am. I'm going to see if I can get a charge somehow out of the boss. I don't believe there's any single boss item that can charge my active, though. So I'm going to say that's a big fat no-no on that. Don't bring the bomb closer to me, you devil. Don't have the range to hit this guy at the minute. Okay, it's not going too badly, though. We're hitting him pretty regularly. This guy has decent damage to start, so... Wish he had a little bit more damage to start, I will say. His early flaws are pretty brutal, but... Otherwise, not so bad. Stop pushing the bombs towards me, you stupid. I realize I could just stop firing, but... I'm not that smart. I'm not that smart, people. But this might end up being a relatively Isaac-heavy commentary run, because we are struggling. But these struggle runs are kind of fun. I'm really annoyed about Sackhead, though. I'm so dumb. Spin down, why do you have to be that way? I'm like half tempted to just charge my active myself and cheat it, but I know that people won't like that. Okay. So let's uh, come in here. Hope for soul hearts. What the hell am I stuck on there? Speed up. Shot speed up. Tiny Krampus is pretty darn good. I'll take that. Tiny Krampus should help us out a decent amount. Let's go get Nightlight and see how that ends up being. It might not be a good idea to pick it up, to be honest, but what other choice do we have? I damn balked it. I should have maybe used my uh, my Singularity in my secret room as well, 
But it's fine that we didn't. It's fine. Right, let's grab Nightlight and be very depressed. To be fair, it's not... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I was getting confused about how Nightlight worked there. Um, it's not the biggest deal to not get Sackhead. Sackhead is good, but we like it's not super necessary. It just means more charges is all. But anyways, let's continue onwards. I'm pretty happy with Tiny Krampus here. We'll try and get a secret item on the next floor and see how that goes. Planetarium chance is going up as well, so that's good. Oh god, that's a lot of enemies coming my way. Petrified Poop helping us a lot as well. No thank you. Got him, finally. Wait, what? Did the... Oh, I, th I thought the trinket got sucked into the black hole then, but it didn't. Okay, we've almost got another singularity charge here, so let's look for our secret room as soon as we can. Ooh, free crawl space. That I do like to see. Um, and that's a mega chest right there. I don't think I can get to that other penny. Oh, no, I can, I can. Right, grab that. Okay, I'll come back to you. Three keys isn't really enough to guarantee a pull on the mega chest, I'll be honest. It's not really, not really enough. Uh, we'll try for secret room here. Damn. Obviously, at the minute, we don't really know where secret room is, so it's going to be a little bit longer until we find it, to be honest. Oh, my God. We definitely need more damage, though. I am tempted to just use Singularity now to uh, get get ourselves some sort of item, some sort of help. Right. I kind of want Spin Down ready as well, just so we can Spin Down whatever we end up getting. Okay. Please blow up the Mushroom for me. It did a bit of damage, I think. I don't know how much. There we go. It did a bit, yeah. It did a bit. Oh, this is rough. I don't know if Nightlight's helping at all, I'll be honest. Slowing is good. I don't know how much it's doing. It could it could end up hindering us in the long run. Oh, you can overcharge Singularity by default now. That's really nice to know. So I don't have to worry about accidentally picking things up. Okay, so Secret Room can't be here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Also, when does, when does little Krampus decide to shoot at anything? He's not done anything yet. Is he like just what, what, what's he doing? Let's 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 figure that out, shall we? Um, encyclopedia inventory. Yeah, what are you doing? So it's Tiny Krampus familiar who behaves like dry baby. Oh, it's when hit. Okay, makes more sense. What the fuck was that room? <laughs> no, don't go in there. Stupid. So where the hell's secret room then? Could be here. I am very low on HP right now. There's a very high chance I die here. Could be here. Ugh. We've only got one bomb left. Okay. Not much I can do to get over there. Sadly. Can't pull anything over. Still a little confused on secret room. Oh, God. These guys teleporting is scaring me. Oh, I'm so dead. Not this room, but just generally. I can just feel it. Another bomb helps. We'll take that because it's a guaranteed item. What does that do? Plus five bombs while the space bar is held. Wait, what? Plus five bombs while the space bar is held will spawn a trail of explosive gas clouds. That does not sound very good. And it's an active. Big sad. Big sad. What? Where the hell's the secret room game? Where is it? Oh, a soul heart. Very nice. I'm going to pop Singularity in here and see what we get. Oh, nothing. Literally a waste of time is what we get. Can't get those chests either. This is an absolute trial, this is. Trial by fire. Right, so... Where the hell is secret room? I don't understand. I mean, second secret room feels like it's obviously here. I don't know where regular secret room is. Whoa! 
Why do I keep accident? Like, why do sometimes the shots converge into like a bunch of extra shots? What's that about? Good. Right. Try this. Good. Plus five luck every time you take damage, 25 times chance for it to, blip, to break. Does something special if you leave it in a museum. Don't know what that means. We got this. I'll pop it once at least. Okay, then singularity. What? I haven't used it in a secret room yet. It's supposed to be diminishing returns in secret rooms. I haven't used it in a secret room yet. What the? F I'm confused. That wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to give me a secret room item. Where the can hell's the other secret room? It's like got to be here, right? Okay, it is. And it has nothing in it. Ugh. So now do I have to use it in this secret room? I've got to go and test it. I've got to waste my items here, but I'm figuring this out. They've changed how, sing how this character works and it is confusing me. I need more damage is what I need. I need to try and get Little Brim to, to do some stuff too. My little, my little, uh, my little Cramperino boy. So I'm trying to get him to get hit whenever I can. Damn it. Oh, and then I get hit. Nice. Oh, and the 25% chance to break my trinket triggered on the first hit. Nice. This is going extremely well. Oh, Lord. This character is... Oof. I don't know. He's something else. His early game is just brutal. Absolutely savage. I realize I've done some misplays here and there, but... He's just so... Like, I don't know. He's so slow to play. Like, oh my God, his damage is so low. Like, it's 420, but you miss, like... 95% of the shots you fire. Okay. Consolation prize. Doesn't matter. I don't get an item anyway. I forgot about that. Oh, bloody hell. Right, let's go back over this way. Try and, try and use our secret room here. I don't know why it didn't give me an item last time. It better do this time. It didn't again. What the hell's going on? Did they, did they completely change how it works? Okay, right. Be right back. I can't find anything about it. I don't know why it's not working. It's very, that, that's very frustrating. I've just wasted a bunch of item charges for seemingly no reason. I'm, I'm, I can't, I checked the patch notes. Nothing has changed in terms of secret room items. I don't know why I didn't receive items both those times. Anyways, I guess we'll just move on with our lives and die. Because we are definitely going to die. One and a half hearts with literally base stats at the Catacombs 2. This is pretty... I'm in a pretty desperate situation here. We've got an Eternal Spider there as well. And these Hang Spiders, which I still don't really understand. Yeah, that one just dropped directly on my head. Okay, Eternal Spider, you have a lot of health. I, well, no. He might not have a lot of health. I just have incredibly low damage. What? Okay. Okay. I see how it is. That's crazy. <laughs> we managed it. Could this spider drop, please? Could this... Do, 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 do. Gum. Nope. <laughs> Those enemies are disabled from now on. Don't like those boys. Okay, we're probably going to die in this room here. I, I'm kind of okay with a refresh. I'm just a little sad to lose my streak to this because this is tragic. This character, man. This character is something else.
And like, I'm not getting any bloody consumables. Look at that, just red hearts. I can't charge my active with red hearts. Ah, the anger. The salt is setting in, people. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh yes, I'm dead. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's let's roll it back. Let's reboot. Let's restart. That was um, truly, truly awful. Let's hope we can actually get some stats this time. Okay, we got this thing again. This thing seems really common. It means uh, it replaces rocks with poops sometimes. It's pretty good. Okay. I suppose we do have difficulty mods plus a difficulty character, but most of the difficulty that was caused on this run had nothing to do with anything else. I think most of the difficulty came from the fact that I should have had secret rooms and they just didn't work for some reason. I, don't, I really still don't know why they didn't work. There was no reasonable explanation for why they wouldn't. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh. Saucy room, saucy room. Bit of a monster fight, bit of a monster fight. I can handle it. Oh my god. The struggle bus is real, people. The struggle bus is real. I cannot handle one moment. One moment. Cannot handle. It is truly, truly big sad. Right. Monster is going down pretty quick here. We're going to get a charge. Unfortunately, we don't have a bomb for a secret room. Although, I'm not even remotely interested in using our active and secret rooms anymore anyways, because it just doesn't work. Right. So, let's go do a shop item. I think shop items are potentially really good. There's, there's a few of them that are a bit dooky, but there is quite a lot that are really good. Pokego is one of the ones that's a bit dooky. Doesn't really help us all that much at all. I might just need to use the excess charges, like the ones that you get from the boss fight, in the boss pool to guarantee stat upgrades, because, or at least get a very good chance of stat upgrades, because honestly, not getting stat upgrades and not getting HP is the main thing that's killing me, I think. It's very, very difficult to live without stat upgrades. Unfortunately, we don't have a bomb yet, but we would very much like one. That room would be incredible for us. If we get one. Okay, just remember the flies are faster here. Big rooms are always a pain as well. They're really difficult to, like, aim correctly. Oh, what? No! It pushed him into me. <laughs> I was in a good spot to, like, aim but not get hit, and it pushed him into a position where he could hit me. Okay, there's the bomb we needed. Soul hearts, please. A soul hearts, good enough. Using singularity here. Do you know what? I'll stand by that. That's pretty nice. Would like more bombs now, please. I'd love to get those uh, fool's gold rocks broke. So no, Pokego might not end up being that bad. Ooh, eternal champion of this guy is uh, mighty meaty. We got him though. Destroy the poops whenever we can here. It is worth. It is worth. Do, 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 do. One second. Right. The dev has replied to me. So let's hope, hopefully see what's going on with this guy. See if we can find out the shenanigans that I've been... That have been betrothed upon me. Eternal Heart's rather nice. Although this character is not as valuable because unfortunately it's not going to give us much. Okay, what does this guy do? Okay, he's dead. Doesn't matter. Fat Bat is surviving. Fat Bat is thriving. Fat Bat is living. Fat Bat's doing his best. Living his best, best life. Right. I do want to probably take my Devil Deal here uh, and get an item in there. In fact... Let's try and get another charge before we go into our Devil Deal so we can pop it twice. It'd be really good to get two items from the Devil Deal if possible. Okay. Quite a few rooms left here. Well, I said quite a few. There's at least two we know of. Okay, so there's, there's two rooms left. Okay, go on, Fat Bat. Do your thing, please. It'd be really nice if you could just kill everything for me. 
Seemingly he's doing a good job of that so far, though, so... Won't disrespect him. It's done good, kid. Okay, all we need is one more charge. We got a planetarium. Good that we searched. Good that we searched. Wasn't expecting that. I don't, do I actually want to use the thing in a planetarium? Yeah, we got an additional charge. Let's go for it. Um, boom. Venus. Okay. Ooh. Venus's costume is a little glitchy look. Oh, God. What's happened to Venus's costume? Neptunus as well. That was incredibly lucky. Okay, our costume has been fixed. Okay, we have an okay run going on now. We have an okay run going on now. Let's continue on. Let's continue onwards. Okay, so we can try and get an extra item from our devil deal. I think now with Neptunus, honestly, we have like a like, pseudo stat upgrade to help us. Ooh, this is uh, you, I see. At least we can't get contact damaged anymore. I'm going to tr basically try and use Neptunus as much as I can here. Ooh, it charmed him as well. I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, the dips are going to get charmed, so don't worry about them too much. Although they are putting slidey poop all over the floor everywhere. Okay, that should kill him. There you go. And just these guys. Yeah, Neptunus is great here. Okay, let's pop in here. And pop our singularity. We just won. It doesn't matter. We got Star of the Bottomless Pit. This item I have reported to the developer is incredibly overpowered. It needs a nerf. I keep getting it. It just keeps showing up. On hit, we have the chance to produce locusts, and all blue flies become locusts. So, yeah, it's really good. I might, to be fair, to be fair to the developer, one second. The, the mod did receive an update, like, yesterday. There's a chance it already got nerfed. I don't think it did, but there is definitely a chance. So, let's just go and quickly check out that, because it did get an update. It's called Something Wicked. It's a mod that hasn't released yet, but... Okay, the, there's no update, there's no patch notes currently, because like I said, it's a mod that's not released. So it might have been nerfed already. I don't actually know. We'll see. Yeah, it's honestly, it already seems to be. Why did I go in here? To be fair, it doesn't matter if I go in there or not anymore, because we've already had a planetarium. Honestly, as well, we have Venus, which is an item that I absolutely adore. I don't know why people don't like it. It's so good. Do you like having literal contact damage immunity, essentially? Because so do I. I think it got nerfed, you know. I think it did. Because normally we would have, like, a ridiculous amount of locusts by now. And seemingly we don't. It's producing a more normal amount. Because what it used to do is it used to be... In fact, it might have even changed in the description. It used to be on hit, chance to spawn locusts, and I suggested it should be on kill. Um, Upon killing enemies, there you go. It got changed to on kill. I think that's way, 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 way better. It's a lot less overpowered now. It's still very good because you still get locusts on killing enemies and you're going to get an, an okay amount of them, but now it's not redonkulous. Because before it was. Before it was absolutely stupid. So thank you for nerfing that. And, and also, it does still convert all blue flies into locusts. That's still part of the item, which uh, means that that part is still intact, has been very, very strong. If you get guppy or like... Anything that's going to produce regular flies, even just like a rotten baby, you're going to be set. That's going to do a lot of work. So that's kind of what we're looking for now, actually. But yeah, like having having enemies be charmed all the time, it's so good. Would like some more drops, though, I'll say that. Oh, that was kind of skillful. I got through that somehow. But yeah, you want to kind of stick near one enemy and use it as like a teammate. So that it can hurt the others and not hurt you. And you just try and charm everything you can so that it doesn't attack you and it attacks everything else. There you go, killed that enemy for me. 
come on, game. I would like some more, uh, some more pennies or something, just so I can, like, you know, deal a bit more damage by getting some items. I'm not getting many singularity charges right now. But, honestly, Neptunus, best pickup we've had so far. It is carrying us right now. But yeah, so Star of the Bottomless Pit won't be as good on its own. It'll just be okay on its own. I'm taking it. I need the charges. A Viz appears. We got a Viz. Very nice. Oh, this is Eternal. Doesn't matter. He's almost dead. Wow. Didn't matter that he was Eternal at all. And yeah, let's just use Singularity in here. And unfortunately, we got a Luck and Ranger. But honestly, Luck is okay. So I won't, I won't cry about that. But... I need to use my item in the boss room more often. Good, good. Troll bombs. Okay, this is a good room for us because everything's going to be charmed. We're not going to get contact damage much. Of course, when there's only one enemy left, it will try and hit you still. It'd be funny if these worm dudes were just like hit themselves if they were charmed, like the segments would just hit each other. Oh, having a, a, a charmed Viz right now is uh, pretty awesome. Dude, dude. Oh, he's the last enemy in the room. I was like, why is he attacking me? He's the last enemy in the room. I didn't even realize. And then this time, pop singularity right here. Ares. We just got spurred, baby. That helps. Petrified poop there, I'll take that too. There's like one frame of the animation when we're going up look where they actually have wings. Some weird animation things going on right now. But yeah, Spurge should definitely help. Spurge is going to spawn these little stars here and there that are going to help us out. Also, we do have Ares now, so we can push into things and deal good damage sometimes when I'm not stupid. You need to be at a certain level of speed for it to work, so don't just go running into every enemy. And actually with Venus, this is a really good synergy. These work together very well. Okay, take these guys out as they are. And Perky goes doing its thing too. Should check for a soul heart, really. Honestly, grab a sack, that's pretty good. More, uh, more pennies and stuff to charge us, the better. Ooh, Fallen. Although he will actually drop a Devil Deal, so it doesn't... It's not as good as I thought it would be. Oh, we lost Belial's eye, but... Here we are in our Angel Deal, at least. <sighs> not great. <laughs> not great. Probably one of the worst things we could have got. But, I will say, it's at least an instant mum kill, which is nice. Secret Room's almost definitely here. I think this would have been an item, wouldn't it? I will try a secret room item again here. I will try it, but I'm not convinced it'll give us one. Justice. Right, let me go try it. I just need to test for the for the devs to see if it's uh, doing things correctly. Because I think they want to know. Okay, it did spawn one this time. And we got a good one as well. Little Greed is pretty nice. Because he's going to spawn pennies for us every now and again. As well as um, giving us a revive as the Keeper. Pretty good stuff. We should be pretty set now. I can't remember if Ares lets you go into secret rooms for free or not. Okay, that gave us blue flies, which gave us a bunch of uh, locusts. Bombs explode more quickly. Ooh. Spawn one. I don't know. When getting hit isn't really what we need. But that is a blue fly technically. So. Kind of better than petrified poop honestly. Because petrified poop isn't going to. We're not going to see much out of that. Unfortunate in there. 
Hoping for just luck upgrades now, I think, so we can get more uh, air drops. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, singularity. Reverse tower. Interesting. Yeah, look, two coins just from doing this room. I like that. I like that a lot. Consumables are going really, really well. This has been a saucy run and a half, this has. Okay. The reverse of the tower is interesting because we could get some more uh, tinted rocks and stuff. Okay, there you go. Spiders down. A pill. We take Phantom Pains. Phantom Pains is producing a... Uh, it's actually pretty good because it's producing locusts. Lots of various jumpy and fly things here. Okay, that locust was a bit of a waste. That was a bomb locust. A little bit of a waste there. Got another Viz. Awesome. Phantom Pains again. Ooh, it also created more rocks, which I didn't didn't actually leave long enough to actually summon. I walked out the room a bit early there. A Frowning Gaper appears. You do your thing, Mr. Frowning Gaper. You do you. Ah! Ah! This dude's getting too close. My phantom pain's triggered again. Ow. Yeah, let's be... Oh, don't. Don't you dare touch my boy. Don't you dare touch my, my, my laser viz. He's too cute. Come on, little greed buddy. Yeah, spawn some pennies for me. Beautiful. Sometimes shoot a stream of floating poison tears. Why not? Do you know what? That seems incredible for us. I was just Phantom Pains, I think, again. Okay, this seems really good, this stream of tears. That's a lot of tears. Wow. Okay. Is it just basically constant? Because it seems like it. Don't you touch my vis, I told you. It's just like a constant stream of these poison tears. I can get behind that. They don't seem to do a lot of damage, but it's extra tears. Who am I to frown at that? Frowning Gaper appears again. As soon as I say the word frown, it summons a Frowning Gaper. Good. Um, two percent chance for Black Hearts. Yeah, that, that is better. I didn't realize that Black Lipstick was a plus 1% chance for Black Hearts. That's terrible. I thought it was a bit better than that. Oh my god. Perfect. Legitimately perfect. Sister Vizzes. Ooh, we've got a lot of uh, bomb flies here. Locusts. Nice. What's he going to do? Oh, my God. That was just me being stupid, wasn't it? Okay, we just created a bunch of rocks, which makes your life a bit harder, doesn't it? We've got flight, so we don't really care. Ow. I need to stop getting hit. We've got two tinted rocks in here now, though. That's actually pretty good. Build rage every room. Um, and we carry on going down. I did lose out on the huge boulder, which would have given us a plus three damage up, which is a bit of a shame. I thought small rock would just drop an item like normal, but I think it's because it, it dropped before the boss and it died, and the boss died for removing all the items from the room, which removed the huge boulder from the room, which was just my bad. I should have just played that in a different order. I think that was just my mistake. Okay. Some extra bombs there. 
Don't let you see any black arts, of course. Getting charges on the regular. At this point, I'm just kind of like popping items whenever I can. Just want to blow up you right. Oh, so hot. Beautiful. Love that music still. All right, charm everything. Let it bash into each other. Look at that. You just sound so close to enemies and charm more. It's great. Why do people like the item? People are strange. Um, I'm going to grab this fool card. Specifically just to use it so that I can get a charge on Singularity. Eh, it's it, Mr. Mega's pretty good, but we don't have any bombs. Whoa, that was pretty cool. But we don't have any bombs to really make it work yet, so it's kind of like not great now. Like once we have more bombs, it'll be pretty good. Don't push my bomb around. Oh my god. Oh, that spike rocks rejuvenated, you big dick. More options is literally worthless for us. That's fun. Oh, I'm getting hit so much right now. Please regenerate me a tinted rock somewhere. I need one. I just need it. I'm 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 not doing too well at the minute. <laughs> Health is uh, looking worse by the minute. Okay. Don't really know what to think about the green shots yet. I think they feel pretty good, but at the same time, I'm like, are they actually that good? Or just, is it just having a lot of shots on screen that I like? I think it might just be that. It's the shop over here. I'm hoping it is. It's not. Not an enemy in this room. What am I doing? Where the hell's the shop at? Better not be all the way at the other side. Oh wait, we've got our laser laser left. Actually, to be fair, we don't need to use that on Mother, do we? Because we have the Bible. That's nice. I do like that. I will say, I do quite like that. But unfortunately, it does mean we have to go all the way back to get to our shop. Let's keep her moving. There you go. Right. No soul heart, sadly. Did get a Hierophant card, though, which I'm incredibly pleased about. I'm going to pop this in here. Hmm. That seems interesting. I realize that it's probably not a great idea to, um... Oh, wait. We, we, we keep these little fellas. What the hell? Nice. I don't know if we get them to finish the floor until they die, but we keep these little these little fellas. Yeah. I don't know if 4 or 4 is a good idea because it could be just tragic, but... And obviously it means we have to actually kill Mum now, but triples, triple 4 or 4 sounds kind of fun. Right. Let's do this thing. Yeah, now we have three little buddies on us. So we have a lot more shots going out. Which is doing a lot more damage. Very nice. Um, We'll take this one. I will Singularity here, because why not? That's whatever. It is what it is, I guess. Eden's Blessing. Hell yes. You might wonder why the hell am I doing boss rush? Because I need the achievements. I need the unlocks. Guts to have them. Game is only running at 28 FPS. It's fine. I 
How are you taking someone to die for it? What's, what's going on here? Thank you. Okay, things are dying pretty fast. We got our little Sumptorium babies. We can also pop this every now and again to uh, see what trinkets we end up getting. Which will inevitably make me accidentally switch trinkets a bunch of times. Oh, okay, some of these guys are eternal. That's, that's fun. Wasn't ready or expecting that, but it happened. Okay, they're dying faster, though. I will say that. Honestly, the wow factor thing seems to be just slowing my FPS down so much. Door stop. Does that just let me leave? <laughs> it's, it's good to know if it does, because, like, I don't want to leave, but I might have to. Right, just a minute. I'm just going to remove Wow Factor, because I feel like it's, like, a major cause of, like, a lot of our lag we've got going on right now. Oh, no. No, it's not. It's not at all. Seems to have absolutely no difference whatsoever. We can give ourselves it back now. I had to test. This is going to take a while, this boss rush, isn't it? The room's just so big. I think the Apothecary or whatever the mod is called is just causing a lot of the lag that we're having. Ever since I installed that mod, I've been noticing a lot, lot more. Which is a shame, because it's a really cool mod. Eh. It's so hard to hit things in these larger rooms. I think I've lost some of my... I've lost one of my bo one of my boys. Stain, you're in such a position where I basically cannot hit you. Can you move? Oh my god. I just can't hit him. And then I got hit as well. The horsemen are here. Really, a single penny for two keys. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was really hoping for. Oh my god, this is going to take so long. Get closer to the center so I can hit you. Am I got hit again by something? I don't know what. Yeah, this is going to be a real trial, isn't it? This is going to take forever. I've done like two waves so far. Oh, Lord. But anyways, so how are you guys? <laughs> Let's just sit and have a chat, I guess, because we are going to be in this for the long haul. I made a mistake coming here. Now I'll never leave. It's just the it's the fact that the game is literally running at half speed because the FPS is so low. I'm at 28 FPS almost constantly at the minute. And I keep getting hit, which is just perfect. That was close. You see how long my iframes from Polaroid are lasting? Crazy. Die faster. Cage, you're so healthy. Why? Ow. Don't jump away from that. Oh, soul heart. I'll take that. Triple shot. Why not? Yes. M can save us. Again, an eternal wave for some reason. No, I want M. Oh, give me it back. The fact that it spawns eternal enemies as well. Just cheeky. 
Why are you still hidden? I feel like I'm not doing anything right now. Like, where's this heart? Can I even get to you? You're spawning Globins, and they're Eternal too? Can you calm down, game? Just because it's an Eternal boss doesn't mean it has to spawn all Eternal enemies. Come on now. This is so slow. 25 FPS. The, the heart died. I don't know how or when, but it died. That wave took so long. Okay. We'll get through it eventually. I think. Or we'll die. Or we'll die. One of the two. Oh my god. This is the one, like, the one thing with mods. Mods are so fun, but goddamn, the lag is just so saddening. It's so common as well, like, it's so hard to avoid. I got hit again. I can't not get hit, though, because I've got to stay close to the enemies to actually hit them. We've got pinking shears. I always forget pinking shears is a four-room charge now. I don't want to error. Oh, my God. One moment. Right. Back again. I, like, I honestly don't know what we're doing with this. This is just... It's, it's hard to play. <laughs> I made a mistake coming to Bosch Rush. I definitely did. But it's like... A, I just, it's weird, because, is it Spurred that's doing it? Because I really don't have anything crazy going on. Like, at all. Like, my items are, the, the, um, wow factor thing's a bit crazy, but, like, we tested that. That's not, that's not anything of the cause of the lag. Like, if I, if I go and go, like, remove Ares, will that remove Spurred too? And then if I... I've, I've just got to do some testing here. Remove... Oh, yeah. That's... That's infinitely better. I removed Wow Factor and uh, Spurred. And my FPS just jumped up by, like, 15. It's still not great, but it's more playable now. I might just need to get one of those mods that removes some of the gibs from the floor. Which is a shame, because I do like having them on. But it is causing some serious issues, as we can see. I don't know, though. I'm back, I'm back down to 35 FPS now. Doesn't really seem to have improved all that much. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it seems to help, but not help. I don't know. Oh, God. I'm probably going to die anyways. This has been a fun journey, hasn't it? We're at 52 minutes, probably just on boss rush. It's crazy. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just trying my best. The spiked rocks all over the place as well, which is just not good. Magician. That's pretty helpful. There's <laughs> just crap everywhere on the floor. Pretty much everywhere. Keep accidentally picking up an error because it's like nearly invisible on the bloody floor. Right. Ah, oh, for God's sake. It's okay, though, because out of this, we get charges. And we can pop another item. We can get dry, baby. Oh, my God. There's a spike rock there. The spike rock's everywhere. <laughs> How many more waves do we even have? Oh, my God. I can't. I just can't. Stop picking up error. How does it how does it make its way over to me every time? Like, they're just sucking towards me. So frustrating. I mean we're killing fast. Okay, we haven't even got even got any bombs left anymore either, so. That's out. I have to stand so close to enemies in these big rooms. I hit the spiked rock again. 
Okay, I unlocked I unlocked something. It's 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 all good. I unlocked something. I'm also gonna take a little heretic. Wow, that was what the hell hit me then? Was there a spike truck underneath the singularity? This is so hard to control. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, even the FPS right now is like, on a, in a normal room, is really bad. Some shenanigans are going down. Okay. Stay away from the enemies if we can. Whoa! Where's that enemy gone? Ah, up, oh, it's on my head. Okay, we're one hit away from death. I'm going to say we're probably going to die. But this run is cursed as hell, so I wouldn't mind. <laughs> this run is incredibly cursed. <laughs> How do you control this? I'm dead. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one nonetheless. Oh, wait. We're the keeper. We're the keeper. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, God. Our fire rate is 0 0.33. Why? <laughs> I can fire like once a minute. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say we're probably also dead as keeper here because I, I can't shoot. Oh my god, why am I standing here? Yep, bad idea. Bad idea. I don't know how to beat this guy. <laughs> We're doing okay. We're doing okay. But you've seen how fast I'm firing? Like, the heretic is doing, like, all the work. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was an absolute clusterfuck. And I'll see you guys in the next one.